everybody in here just sitting here with with my coffee it's over there <laughs> with Miss Judy over there it's raining today so you know what I think I'm gonna do for the first time is I think I am going to get my Coleman stove up on the propane cooktop and see if I can bake a cake because I'm gonna need to know if I can do that over there or if I'm gonna have to take it outside on on the rocket stove I don't think I'll be able to do it on the wood burning stove because it's just it's hard to maintain a steady temperature, but I know that I can do it on the rocket stove, and I know I can do it on that, so I'm going to give it a try. I just haven't figured out what kind of cake. Hmm. But before I get started on the cake, whatever it's going to be, since it's Veterans Day, I wanted to honor the people in my family who are military veterans. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we Stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. O'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rockets red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still. make my whatever fruit nut bread with my apple butter so you're gonna need some brown sugar some white sugar some salt one egg one cup of fruit whatever I'm using my apple butter some vanilla extract some flour baking powder some chopped nuts and some vegetable oil so let's go ahead and throw this together
45 minutes and they're done. I normally have to bake these for an hour, but then I'm using a standard size loaf pan. I even stuck a knife down in the middle of that one. It came out clean, but it bounces back. It's not too dark on the top. It doesn't look too dark on the bottom. Alrighty, so it's up on a wire rack. I'm going to let it cool for about 10 minutes before I try and remove them from the pan. Oh, I'm so excited to taste this. Look, it came out perfect. Oh, yeah. Alrighty, let's take a little bite. I'm just going to break a little piece off. Delicious. Mm hmm. And it's not dry, thank goodness. Um, it's, it's got the perfect sweetness. Mm, I could have added more nuts. <laughs> and the crust. It has that just a little bit of crunchiness to it, too. Oh, my gosh. You got to try and make this. <laughs> you got to try and make this. See? You know what? I think that was a success. Mm -hmm. That is a perfect kind of loaf or cake or whatever you want to call it to go with a cup of coffee. I want to make some pumpkin butter now and make pumpkin butter muffins or cake like that. You know what would be really good on the top of that, too? Oh, that is just so delicious. It is like a brown sugar crumbly top. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, I'm going to have to try that sometime. So now I know I can bake a cake in my Coleman camp oven. So that is awesome. I mean, you can cook anything basically in there. The only thing is, is you've got to really watch the temperature. There were a couple times that it got to almost 400 degrees. And really, you don't want to uh, bake these no loaves or cakes, whatever you want to call them, at too high of a temperature because, you know, the, the, the crust gets too dark. And um, it's better just to cook them, you know, kind of 325 for 45 to 50 minutes, depending on what kind of little pan you put it in. But this recipe is in uh, my little recipe book. The link for you to purchase it is down below. And um, if you buy it, it's only $2.99. Once I upgrade, I need to add several more recipes into it. But if you buy it, then you get all of the updates for free until the end of time. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying your Veterans Day. And I hope we can all come together to show our respect and our thanks and honor all of our military men and women, everyone who's been a veteran, and everyone who is currently serving and protecting our wonderful, great, great nation of the United States of America. That's all I've got for you guys today. See you in the next video. for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.